Hey, I'm Ryan from Spike, and we're here today to talk about this bad boy. What about us? What about, yeah. Shit, okay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. I'm Michelle. And we're here today to do another AMA. But this time, it's about this bad boy. The Spike Flow. Riff away. Yes. Cut. I mean, action. All right, this first question is from Phil. And he says, I already own a Riptide. Will you be selling just the pump head so I can upgrade? Well, Phil, I got some bad news for you. We're not selling just the pump head. Yeah, all the geometry inside is different. So even though it kind of looks the same from the outside, uh, the spike flow has a different setup. And we're also not in the business of upgrading our competitors' pumps. Burn! Jonathan from the Spike user group asks, since this pump competes with the Riptide but doesn't have a flow valve, what does Spike recommend or supply for an output valve on the pump? Um, we recommend using one of the well-regarded ball valves uh, that you can buy on our website and there's also a lot of others. Uh, you can mount it on your kettle and it's a lot easier to adjust. You don't have to reach and bend down. And we just found that to be the best solution. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Yeah. I like to mount it on the kettle so I don't have to bend down. Yeah. Lazy. So the other thing about the integrated valve is we found that that kind of setup is really limiting when it comes to what these pumps can put out. So the way to think about it is if you're on a two lane highway and you blocked off one of the lanes, that's kind of what putting that valve in there is like. And we wanted to maximize what this pump could do because we know that most of you have valves anyways that are going to work well on your kettle. That was a great so, example. Yeah. Good job. Analogy. A plus. Yeah. Yeah. Matt from the Spike user group asks, is the mounting pattern the same as the Riptide? Yes, it is the same as the Riptide, the March and Chugger, and everything since 1908. Addison from the Interwebs asks, what is the flow rate and PSI of the unit, and will it spin a three inch CIP ball for cleaning fermenters? So it makes about nine GPM, that's the flow, it makes about nine and a half PSI, that's the pressure, when you have it fully closed and fully open for those two conditions. And yes, it will run a three inch CIP ball just fine. Um, we've ran this through cleaning cycles on fermenters and it works phenomenally well. So this is perfect for that. Taylor from the user group says, if you could only drink one style of beer, what would you pick and why? Well, Taylor, it's a great question. I would have to choose two types. Marzen, because it's delicious and every beer tastes better in a stein. Mm -hmm. And the other one would be this delicious lager from our friends at Fermentorium out in Cedarburg. It's delicious, sort of nutritious, and if you're ever in southeastern Wisconsin, stop by and say hi. That's not nutritious. <sighs> what up, David Bakhtiari? Next. What's your favorite beer, Adam? I like a nice oatmeal stout. Chalkity. Specific though. Summit. On? Summit on nitro. That's my boy. Yep, I like the bubblies. I just like to drink oatmeal. I do That's like to drink oatmeal. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just good cream of wheat over here. I'm sweating. I like to drink. <laughs> it, is, it is hot. I like to drink much. It is bad. This, this is bad. Thousand degrees. Our next question comes from Eric at the Instagram. What is the performance of the chopping tines? I've accidentally plugged a pump with whole leaf hops, and I'm curious as to if the Flow's chopper has been tested against whole leaf hops. So the chopping tines do a great job on the pellet hops, and we don't recommend putting the whole leaf hops through any pump of any kind in a brewing situation. Uh, we would recommend uh, a bag or some strategy like that it's there's just nothing that you can do to prevent that leaf material from you know kind of gluing up and, and plugging up your ports exactly just don't do it yeah kids don't put whole hops through your pump Hold yes up. one more time or is that good paul i think it's fine okay Really Everything is riding on your shoulders, Paul. You're, you're like the person right. we go for affirmation. <laughs> this isn't going to be a complete dumpster yeah. fire. All right. <clears throat> Tom from the user group asks, how different is this from the Blickman pump? Well, Tom, the air release valve is located on the inlet. And so basically when you open it up, it's not going to spray water all over or warp anything at you. So it's just going to dribble out because in the pump inlet, there's minimal to no pressure. And so all the pressure is on the outlet. So it's gonna be nice and safe. Also has this nice little barb tip here that you can hook up a 
hose, rubber hose, whatever, put a cup underneath it and collect it. It's a great pump, it kicks ass. Proud of this one. Also, this uh, thrust washer that you know we developed, I, mean, I was a fool and tried unthreading it the wrong way because it's a left-handed thread. It's an integrated thrust washer. Look at that. Yep, so if that wears down, which can happen after thousands of hours, especially as you start and turn pumps on and off and sometimes they run dry for a little bit. If that runs wears down, it's a cheap part to replace. You screw it right in. This sees none of the wear whatsoever. And so, you know, some of our competitors, if there's wear, that wear is developed on the housing itself and you have to basically replace that whole part, which is gonna be a ton more expensive. A lot more. Cast steel. Also, since it's, the thrust washer is integrated with the shaft, it's a lot easier to see. So if you drop it, like you're gonna be able to find it right away. So as opposed to just a thrust washer, that's just a tiny piece yeah. of stainless steel, that's very hard to see. I mean, all the pumps that we have that have those little loose washers, even when we're using them and taking them apart and cleaning them, we lose them half the time. So if we're losing them, you guys are losing them and it's annoying, you have to go buy them and have them handy. It's just, we wanted to take that away out of the equation. The other thing about the flow is we developed this to really maximize the performance. And what does a brewer care about? How much pressure you can build, how much flow you can develop. And this is gonna be all the pumps on the market. You're gonna have better whirl whirlpools through counterflow chillers and Herms coils and all that. I mean, you're gonna be able to clean better, faster. Uh, you can build more pressure, you have more control. I mean, when you can optimize what the pump can do, you're setting yourself up to you know, have a good brew day. And that's kind of how we, we approached it. Um, the other thing, I mean, like, look at it. I mean, it's a cool cat, cool looking casting. Um, you know, we designed it to look good in addition to just, you know, performing well. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Form and fashion. Spice up your brew packages. 25% higher flow rate oh. on pressure. You missed the 25% more flow rate. 25, is that a lot? But wait, there's more. No, it's because it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. Do Billy Mays it. Do that. Billy Mays it. Do it. But wait, yes. there's more. More? For just $9.99? We will allow Billy Mays. I don't know what we'll do. do it. Let me finish do it. this one question, though. Let's just finish no, this one. No, that was very good. Do that one. But wait, there's more. But we got that already. What? Okay. No, do it now. I need the sentence Go. to come out of one of your mouths. Say, but wait, says, there's but more. Wait. And you know what? I'll bet you have been wondering how much more flow does the flow make? It's 25%, and that's we've proven it through our testing, flow bench testing, competitor testing, without a doubt. Hey Taylor, can you throw me another brisket doo? Thank you. Yeah. Good technique. Kids, drink clear beer. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, sure to spark lots of debate. What is the greatest movie franchise of all time? Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, or Marvel? I mean, I might be biased, but in general, Star Wars inspires literally all of our products. So I think that's a no-brainer. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What's his inspire? Your fight. What? What's his I inspire? I am not. All the things. Because you... The Force. This looks like Darth Vader. Gerardo from uh, the Instagram as well. Also, can these pumps get a good whirlpool while running through a counterflow chiller back into the boil kettle on a trio? Thanks. Ah, uh, well, the Flow is the most powerful pump in its class and can get a solid whirlpool while running through a counterflow chiller. Yes, the answer is yes. But also the counterflow chiller will restrict flow slightly, so. Joe and Gerardo asked again. Both. Gerardo got yeah. two questions. What? Who, who wrote these down? Uh, could you go into detail a bit on how to prime these pumps and how that differs from the March pump that comes with the trio system. Yeah. Well, Gerardo and Joe, this beautifully designed air release valve has this little screw in there. You put it in there, boom, you un un uh, thread a little bit, water comes out there. Works out great. Th screw it in, shut off. Yep. And the nice thing about this is it's coming out on the inlet side, so it's low pressure, so it comes out gentle, easy to manage. Uh, some other pumps will have their bleed on the high pressure side. And so when you pull that, it just sprays you in the face with hot sticky wart and you start swearing and yelling and your brew day is over and then you go home and you're sad and you- Yeah, and your yeah. pants are ruined. Your favorite yep. shirt has 
beer on it. You quit your job. Your wife leaves you. It's just a mess. Don't it's do it. Don't spiral. do it. Also, it is good to have proper pump technique. So have the, I guess it would be the line that's going out of the outlet clear. Don't have any fluid in it. Clear uh, the shaft before you run the pump. No, just the hose, not the shaft. Clear the hose. And the hose. <laughs> and then also make sure there's water going to it or wart. So, yeah. and have it lower than your kettle. The nice thing about this design, because it's on the inlet side, you can uh, open up your prime valve before you start and just get that inlet hose full. You can open it while it's running if it's an especially challenging situation. Whatever the case may be, you can open this up at any point in time to get your pump going. The ARV is like a designated driver. You might not always need it, but it's good to know it's there if you do. Don't drink and drive. Eric from the user group asks what kind of maintenance is required on the pump, either short term or long term. The answer is there's really no maintenance needed. Uh, obviously pumps need to be cleaned after you're done with your brew day just to make sure that they don't build anything up in them. Um, you know, after, you know, well over a thousand hours, uh, you know, there might be the need to, like we mentioned before, go in and inspect the impeller thrust surface. And, you know, if you need to replace it, that may be a couple bucks, but in general, this is a uh, pretty much no maintenance part. Yeah. And we've tested it with the cleaning products, like running that through 500 hours or yeah. whatever in the octopump. So it's good for Absolutely. things Just other than water too. To clarify, the octopump was a pump setup that That's we true. put together that had eight pumps running on one kettle. There's a lot going on. Can we yeah, put a pretty picture? Intense. Get us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> really trying to get out. <laughs> All right. Well, I finished my beer. That means we are out of questions. Uh, if you have any more questions about this pump, please make sure to check out our engineering video that this guy did on YouTube. Um, and if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. Um, this pump's coming out in fall. And if you need, you know, we want to be the first one to get it, make sure you sign up on our uh, email list and uh, you'll get notifications on that. So thanks again for hanging out with us and we had fun. So we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Alligator. Oh. Very good, thank right. you, very good.